So what we have today here is the Draco Tank. The full name of this thing is Antec Constellation Series Draco Tank. Is it correct? They have different series. Uh. This is under their Constellation Series. So is it full of stars? Forget about the Constellation Series. You just <laughs> have to know this is Draco Tank. Okay. So this is an MATX case, and from the looks of it, this is pretty premium. So I have my expectations quite high because the exploded view here, it showed a lot of good stuff. And this case is only priced at 209 ringgit here in Malaysia. So let's unbox and have a look. Yeet! 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 It looks very clean, to be honest. It From does. From the front and the side. The front. The front here, I suppose this is an RGB strip. Or yeah. at least it's illuminated. Uh, so we'll start off by talking about some of the design elements. At the front here, we have very big opening at the bottom here. This top part is covered as segmented by this RGB or at least illuminated line. So looking at the side here, also very clean. So tempered glass, edge to edge tempered glass panel. How is it removed? I don't see anything. Hmm. Some screw at the back. Oh, at the back. Traditional way to open the side panel. Yeah, I think we should straight away just open up the side panel and see how it goes. So it's still hold, held in very nicely. Remove this. This is a thick piece of tempered glass panel, by the way. So opening up, what we do we have here? Uh, this entire case comes with a 120mm fan included at the back. So you will have to use your own fan for the front. And looking here, I can see a few of the nicer tropes when it comes to MATX cases. So you've got your motherboard tray here with a large cutout so you can easily mount whatever cooler you want or you just want to swap if you don't want to remove your motherboard entirely. And then uh, 2.5 inch mount, you have one, two, and then at the bottom here, you got 3.5 inch hard disk, which we will need to open the other side to show you. Aya. This is uh, quite sturdy and thick. Okay, so at the back here, oh, we got two more 2.5 inch mounts here. Uh, at the bottom here, there's only one 3.5 inch mounts. And then here we have the accessories pack. And uh, let's see what's inside. I suspect it's nothing more than just a pack of screws, but who knows? Yeah, pack of screws, some zip ties, honeycomb style plates for the PCI slots. Can I? Yeah, apparently the, the PCI expansion slot cover is break off type. Yeah, so break off type, that's why they give you two extra ones that you can swap. In case in the future, if you, let's say, remove the graphics card, you no longer want to use it with a graphics card, then you still can put it back. This is actually a good workaround for this kind of breakaway type, but why don't you just use all of these types instead of giving us breakaway? We should talk about some clearance if you want to use more of your fans and cooling system. At the top here, there is a sizable gap between the top panel and also the motherboard tray here. So you can fit AIO coolers at the top if you want and then Magnetic fan filter at the top, which is nice. And then at the top here, you can mount what? 280? It supports 280 right at the top. Not bad, right? Actually, it's very spacious, really. And then you can also slide it front and back, depends on how you want to position it. This is surprising. And then also, right, you can see there's an offset here. This is important because if not, then it will knock your VRAM, VRAM, VRM, not VRAM. And then at the top here, might as well we take a look at the yeah, IO ports, right? IO. So yeah. IO ports, what do you think? Sufficient? Uh, two USB Type-A, uh, 
they separate the audio jacks mm -hmm. standard, for the price is decent uh. yeah so i think this is a good time to pop off the front oh by the way at the top here you can see this led cycle button <laughs> asmr for you guys so oh okay i didn't expect this so be careful when you're removing the front panel once it pops off you got these two cables hooking up to the led strip this front filter is also magnetic <laughs> but okay. the magnetic strip on the front one is slightly same oh it's same, same. you can swap no problem okay. Eight no eight the um, height is not same height is not the same ah okay so now we know the difference so the front here since it's a bit longer you can put in three sixty is it no two eighty only on the box I believe this yeah two eighty okay you can put in triple one twenty fans yeah and also fitting in the air oh might be an issue since you need to yes bend it in but either way. Some might fit, some might not. Officially, it only supports 280mm rats. So that's also very good. And then there's one thing with this design as well, because uh, the filter is mounted to the inner case. That means you have to screw the fans at the inside part of the case. That means you have to screw the, the fan inside there. That means you have, uh, you have to factor in the problem when you have very long gpu yes or if you want to use a aio mounted at the front even thicker in terms of the cooling part that means your gpu length will be affected as well yes do we have measuring tape on the subject of gpu length right why, why not we just measure it so from pci slot onwards we measure all the way to should we say this clearance? Since if you've got AIO, I would suppose it's near ah, there. Yeah, yeah. You can say measure until the clearance part. Yeah, until the clearance part, it's about 31 cm. 31 cm. It's quite long. I mean, GPU nowadays isn't that long, right? Mm. It can be, but mostly not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't have any front fans or AIO, then it can go up to about... 36 cm mm. yeah so i think we should also mention about the depth the depth uh. yeah from the motherboard tray all the way up to the front panel no the side panel is about 20 cm so if you've got any really tall coolers maybe not and then we also need to talk about some cable management routes at the top here like what we mentioned before there's a sizable gap between top and the motherboard so you won't knock your vrm there's also two cutouts so you can pass through like this rear fan cable here yeah quick cable management tips and then there's also some cutouts on these sides for your 24 pin usb ports and whatnot they are not covered by a rubber grommet but i think that's okay for the price of 209 i think it is fine yeah it is fine and then at the bottom here you can also route through some cables here if you want to for like your GPU power pins or whatnot. And then at the bottom, we should also mention about this. Filter. At least there's a filter. But I would prefer if they use the same magnetized strip. Oh yeah, they, they should have used the same magnetized strip. But this is fine, no problem. One thing that I also realized is that this cage can be taken out. So if you look at the bottom here, there's one screw holding it in. So if you remove this screw, the entire three and a half inch cage can slide out and you can also reposition it to one slot in front here this this rail so that you can get more space for your PSU if you need to and I'm not sure if you can screw in another hard disk for cable management wise if you want to stuff your cables at the back here it's quite wide I can fit in my fingers in this gap here so that's good enough so yeah lo, that's it lo. For price of 209 ringgit, what do you think? I think it's uh, not bad at all for the for this features and everything. Yeah, real good pricing and then you get all the... Especially this one is surprising for me uh, at this price point. But one thing for sure, if you are going for this case, 
uh, I would suggest you to get extra fans, maybe one or two for the front intake. Yes, That's and it. also we should highlight once again this is only for MATX. Yeah. So full size motherboards, Mother please don't buy this case. Go this for is not compatible. Else. <laughs> yeah. Go for something else like some other Antec cases that we have. Yeah. More review coming review soon. Coming soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's all for today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, lo, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. This case is real good for 209 bucks. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the next Antec unboxing.